right, Masters taking out one of the heats of the year over Kelly and John John Florence as we continue on. Mason Ho keeping this thing alive, going barrel for barrel as Mason's getting underway with two former pipe masters, Jeremy Flores, one back in 2010, Parco back in 2012. Things are heating up out here, Potts. Oh, by far. This is what happened while we were away at the break. Mason Ho dropping down. Said he wants to do his dad proud. Well, have a look at this, guys. Comes flying out the end of that. That was his first wave of the heat. Mason Ho just hit six as well. Yeah, and Jeremy Flores um, on a great one as well. I mean, look at this driving through the bow. Comes flying out, just squeaking under that lip right there. From everyone, really, Joe. Having a look now, setting this one up. Switch stance is Mason Ho. Just having some fun. Took off Goofy Foot just to play around with this wave a little bit. Very similar day to, as today. Joel Parkinson, look at this wave. This is his first wave of the heat. He's all fired up. He just watched good mate Mick Fanning just absolutely dominate. And Joel comes flying out of the barrel. World title, but we're going to have to wait for tomorrow. Mason Ho takes off, drags his hand just to get as deep as possible. The little bonus section at the end right there. I'll tell you what, I'm loving that longer board. That longer board looks so solid underneath his feet. And then right behind him, Joel pumping, driving, back doors the section. And yep, he comes flying out as well. Oh, look at that kick out right there, just fly away. Perfect 10 point ride. Look at this little backdoor section right here. It's going to be Jeremy Flores. He'll choose his backhand at pipe, slamming on the brakes, styling his way through the pit. Looks back for a moment. He gets out. His goal in that wave was to break the combination. There's a double up on the inside. We're really scary. Here we go. Mason wants this one, locks in, stands nice and forward on the board. He gets blown out. And he dances his way to the exit. For Parco, as Parco needs a 7.64. Paddling is the former pipe master. Joel Parkinson locks in. One big section, he wants more, but it's not going to give it to him, and he kicks out. 7.64. Jeremy not scared of any kind of wave of consequence, nor is this man right here, Joel Parkinson. Parco looking for a 7.64, takes off all casual, standing tall. A short barrel at back door, so he'll just delay that exit. Gets away from that first impact zone. Tomorrow morning, seeing that benefit and that advantage of skipping round five, he's going to be really tough to beat. And we'll see if he can play spoiler, just like his sister Coco Ho did at the end of the season at the Target Maui Pro.